My name is Heiko Pohl. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at the Geyser School of Medicine at Dartmouth in New Hampshire, um, and I'm the director of endoscopy at the VA White River Junction in Vermont. On behalf of our co-authors, I'm going to summarize the results of the CARE study on complete adenoma resection. Um, the motivation for the study uh, was based on um, the, the fact that there are interval cancers. Patients may be diagnosed with interval cancers, post-colonoscopy cancers, even if they had a colonoscopy within short interval. And besides missing a lesion, probably making up most um, are, uh, interval cancers, so the reason for most interval cancers, and de novo vascular cancers, incomplete resection has been suggested as a, another explanation for interval cancers. So lesions that were present at a colonoscopy were not completely resected. And there's surprisingly very little information on completeness of polyp resection. So the goal of our study was really to understand how often are polyps incompletely removed. And we focused our study on non-pedunculated 5 to 20 millimeter neoplastic polyps. Um, and we did this because most endoscopists probably agree that these polyps should be removed in, within um, electrocautery snare, and also uh, they are more relevant than very diminutive polyps. So we um, enrolled consecutive patients who presented for an elective colonoscopy at two academic medical centers, uh, resected the polyp in a standardized approach using electrocautery. Endoscopists were asked to um, assess for completeness visibly, um, and once that was done, to take biopsies from the resection margin two biopsies from 5 to 9 millimeter polyps, and four biopsies from 10 to 20 millimeter polyps. And we define incomplete resection as the presence of any polyp tissue in any of the biopsies. So here's what we found. Of uh, approximately 1,400 um, um, patients, uh, we found 346 study polyps. Of those, 35 or 10% were incomplete or removed. And although we looked at a number of factors that might um, affect completeness of resection, we found only two that really mattered. First, polyp size. The larger the polyp, uh, the more likely it was incompletely resected. 17% of 10 to 20 millimeter neoplastic polyps were incompletely removed. And that compared to 7% of 5 to 9 millimeter neoplastic polyps. And the second factor was polyp histology. Sessile serrated polyps were more often incompletely removed than adenomatous polyps. 31% of sessile serrated polyps were incompletely removed, and if they were large, almost half of them were incompletely resected. Um, there are, in addition, we found a, a fairly broad variation across endoscopists. Um, of the five endoscopists with the highest or with the uh, highest polyp resection volume within the study, the incomplete resection rate ranged from 6 to 23%. There are two key limitations that I want to point out. Number one, we might, might have underestimated complete resection because we did not um, sample the entire resection margin, but only took biopsies. Uh, also, endoscopists knew they were part of the study, and they may have done a more meticulous exam than they would do in general day-to-day uh, -day practice. And the second one is that we measured uh, residual microscopic polyp tissue as, um, um, as a representation of incomplete resection, which makes sense, but on the other hand, we don't really know whether microscopic residual polyp tissue is clinically relevant. Um, and our study cannot answer that question, really. So let's assume, if we assume that the results are accurate and um, they matter, um, the question is now, what can we do to improve polyp resection? And uh, just at the very basic level, just paying more attention to technique and uh, inspecting uh, the resection margin after resection and removing any residual polyp tissue might help. Um, and the um, application of uh, imaging technology, like using NBI routinely uh, with high-definition endoscopy, might also help to identify residual polyp tissue. And perhaps we should also um, uh, utilize or um, um, have pathologists evaluate the polyp margins itself for complete resection as this is routine in some European countries. So up to now, adenoma detection was really the main quality marker of colonoscopy. Our work suggests that perhaps polyp resection might also be a measure of quality and for improvement of colonoscopy.